Hi, David Taylor or Mr. Pelagonium back with another one of my video blogs of the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Today, due to a viewer request, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Ivy Leaf Pelagonium. So let's have a look. Yeah, so uh, I believe pelagoniums are, are something that I, I don't really grow a lot of. I, I do grow some uh, in the summer in uh, hanging baskets and tubs and that sort of thing, uh, which I, I will insert a picture. It's not easy for me to take the camera out today because it's really quite wet. Uh, so I, I'll insert a picture. Um, and basically, I've never really had a, a good relationship with Ivy Leaf Pelagoniums, primarily because when I had the uh, when I ran Gosbrook Pelagonium Nursery, um, I, and I was uh, sending out fairly sort of uh, maturish plants, and the thing about doing mail order is that with the very brittle leaves that Ivy Leaf Pelagoniums have, it's not easy to mail order them out. I used to find. And so I didn't actually do that many of them in my uh, catalogue that I used to produce. Uh, and that sort of knocked on through really. I, do, I don't mind growing them. Um, they are obviously in the main a trailing plant. They've got long thin stems that don't sort of uh, lend themselves to being upright. One or two are a bit sort of more upright growing. Uh, but in the main they're a trailing plant. Uh, and because of that I like to grow bush plant, bush pot plants, uh, which exclude really the ivy leaf uh, types. Now, in exhibition terms, um, you can get ivy leaf types in a pot. Uh, there is a pot class for ivy leaf types, but particularly these days, I've got relatively limited room. So that's the reason that I don't do that many of them. Uh, but one thing that I did do um, a couple of years ago, I began actually tra training um, an ivy leaf plant for consideration for using in the show because we do have a, a trained class and that can be any type of plant. And ivy leaves do do very well in uh, producing a, a plant that can be trained up a sort of trellis mount in, a, in say a, a pot, an ordinary pot. You can have a, a flat trellis growing up made up of sticks say tied together crisscross angled. Uh, and you can train up an ivy leaf is good for doing that. Uh, and I may as an exercise consider doing that maybe at some point in the future, but it's not something I'm going to immediately do, I think. Now, I did actually undertake having a go at uh, doing it a couple of years ago, as I've just said, and I'm just going to run through a video over this uh, voiceover, if you like. Um, uh, of, a, of a video that I shot last summer that I actually edited out of a final uh, video that I did for this blog. So I'm going to shove that in now and I'll talk through it. Um, you can see here, this was very much uh, a plant. I probably overdid it because it was in an eight inch, eight inch pot and I had sticks that were about a metre tall and I was perhaps being a bit overzealous in my in my thoughts of where I could get with the plant. It was going to be very difficult to transport, um, but I actually ended up training up this plant. It did, uh, it was on a crisscross stack stick mechanism um, that I just tied up together on the back of the uh, pot there. Uh, and it, I think it did look quite effective. Um, but it, it, they, do take a lot of growing when they're that size, do take a lot of feed and a lot of growing. And I was finding it a little bit difficult to keep the plant clean. Uh, and in the end, I just gave up with it. Uh, and I put in a really big clay pot and stuck it outside. And you can see here an image uh, of the plant that um, ended up being outside at our old house before we moved. This was last summer. This picture was taken um, in about August of last year. So that's, uh, that's how it grew. But it, it did grow quite well. It certainly benefited from being in a much larger pot. So um, yeah, that, that, that lent itself 
to growing uh, as a big trained ivy leaf plant being up trained on a structure as i said there is an exhibition class for trained plants not necessarily in the ivy leaf type but um to get a big plant like that to show would be a monumental effort uh, and last year I did take my big standard of course so I think to take more than one large sort of train type plant would have been a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a task so there we are if you look here to the PAGS National Show, uh, have a look at class 12. That is, um, that is the, the Ivy Leaf individual class. Uh, and Ian Anderson always grows very, very good uh, pot plants um, uh, in that class. Uh, but it, uh, with, the, with the room that I've got, it's just something that I, I just don't do. So uh, it's not something that I, I ignore, but it's something that I don't really grow in the greenhouse, but I do grow them. A uh, couple of points to note about ivy leaf pelagoniums are, ivy leaf pelagoniums do not actually like uh, being overwatered, even more so than the other sort of pot plants of pelagoniums, uh, you know, the zonals and the regals and that sort. Uh, because they've got a very thick, they're almost semi-succulent, they've got a very thick leaf which holds a lot of uh, moisture to keep the plant alive. Paltatum, which is the original um, species from which ivy leaves came from, ivy leaf pelagoniums came from, um, uh, you know, is very much uh, designed to survive drought uh, and the like. So, um, it, you know, they really can get away with uh, being kept very much on the dry side. So it's important to remember not to overwater them. Um, like a very, uh, very highly drained soil uh, compost. Uh, so, yeah, it's something to bear in mind. Um, as I say, I may think about doing a, a smaller trained one at uh, one stage, um, but it certainly won't be on the scale of the big boy you just saw in that uh, earlier clip there that I showed. Uh, so that's um, a little look at ivy leaves. Um, that's just about it from me today, and I'll be back again very shortly with another video. Goodbye for now.